Hello friends, this is Saksham Sarvari, a second year undergraduate student of IIT Roorkee. I am back with the second part of the presentation. This part will consist uh, of the theoretical aspects of, uh, of the traffic light controller peripheral interfacing. In this modern world of automation, rather than switching lights manually, I want to show you how we can have an automatic switching traffic light using processors and input output output interfaces as basic as 8085 and 8255 respectively. A background about 8255. 8255 is a programmable per peripheral interface. That is, uh, its, port, uh, its ports can be used either in input mode or in output mode and there would be no need for additional hardware for configuring them in different modes. So uh, solely on the basis of the software, we can configure the ports in input modes or in output modes. Now, uh, uh, this this is our crossing. This, no, uh, this is this goes uh, north. This is north direction, south, west, east. This is our traffic crossing. Now. Uh, a brief introduction about 8255. This is 8255. It, uh, there's, there are two sides of 8255. It is basically an interface between these two sides. One side is the microprocessor side. The other side is the input output side. The input output side, con uh, side consists of two groups, group A and group B. Group A consists of eight pins of port A and four pins of port C. Group B consists of eight pins of port B and the other four pins of port C. In this experiment, we assign different lights, these different LED lights to, dif uh, to different pins and then pass binary digits to those pins depending on which the lights turn on and off. So here we are assigning this uh, R1 red light from north direction R1 pin to P uh, R1 LED to PA0 pin and so on. So these 16 pins are being assigned. Uh, to 16 of uh, 16 of those 24 pins available in the 8255. Now coming to the first type of crossing. This crossing is one at a time. So uh, here what happens is that only uh, traffic from one direction is allowed and uh, all other traffic is uh, made to stop. So this uh, green light only from north direction and uh, east, west and south direction have a red light on. So traffic coming from north direction can go to any other any of the three other directions now after a delay uh, this green lights turn uh, turns red and some other lanes uh, green light turns on so here uh, uh, the traffic coming from east uh, now gets the green light and it can go to any of the three lanes available and the all other traffic uh, stops this is the code for the uh, type 1 crossing in this, uh, this first two lines are for initializing, initializing the modes A and B of 8255 in output mode. So uh, we are uh, this ETH is the is a control word, is a control word for initialization of 8255. This ETH comes from the fact that uh, the mode A has to put has to be put in output mode. And the port B has also been put in the output mode. So for uh, putting them in output mode, we have to su supply value 0, 0 and 0. And uh, the PA will also be 0 and PB will also be 0 for the ports A and B to be configured in output mode. So this uh, this control word becomes 1000000, zero, 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 which is equivalent to ETH in hexadecimal. So we pass on ETH to this. To this uh, 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 accumulator and now we output this ATH value on the control register so that's why we are writing OUT03 what it does is that it outputs this on control register why 03 because its conversion and binary is this and the end two digits are 11 because this uh, uh, because to exist control to access control register we have to supply address lines A0 and A1 as 1 and 1 respectively now uh, coming to the second uh, second part of the code this is um, uh, here we are moving uh, value 30 to a and then outputting it on the on this a uh, a register we are accessing the a register so uh, why we are supplying 30 
because uh, first we have to glow the lights R2 and G1. To glow R2 and G1, uh, we'll have this uh, R2. R2 is here and G1 is here. Our byte will be our uh, our pins of port A would be like uh, z zero zero one one because R2 is on one, G1 is on one. Y two zero, Y one zero, G two zero, R one zero because these lights are off. So this in hexa hexadecimal becomes thirty. That's why we are supplying value thirty to it. Now we are uh, writing out zero 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 because register A can be accessed by putting in address lines A one and A zero as zero and zero respectively. Then uh, for uh, for the pins for the LEDs associated with pins of port B. We are uh, uh, we are writing another code. We are writing this. Uh, we are uh, writing zero three value and accumulator, and then calling it out on on the uh, on the register B. So why zero three again? Uh, zero three is has been written here to glow R three and R four. You can see here that uh, to glow R three and R four, we have to put them one one, and all other pins should be put zero zero. So zero 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 one one becomes. 03 in hexadecimal so that's why we are supplying 03 here and then we are out it on uh, register b and that's why we are writing 01 because uh, for outputting something on register b we need to put address lines a1 and a0 as 0 and 1 respectively then uh, as our uh, lights uh, r2 g1 r3 r4 uh, are glowing r r r4 r2 r3 g1 are glowing so now we need a delay of uh, some time say 10 seconds so for delay, we are calling a delay, uh, and this delay subroutine will be defined later on. Now, uh, now again, we need uh, we need this. Uh, now we need this configuration. So we'll we'll close G1, we'll turn off G1 light and turn on Y1. So uh, first thing uh, is this. Uh, first, a port A code will uh, will get changed because we are closing the G1 light and turning on the Y1 light. So here we uh, we are writing 24 because uh, here you can see that uh, we are turning off the G1 light and uh, we are turning on the Y1 light. So this becomes 0010100 which is 24 in hexadecimal. Uh, and the port and the port B code will remain same because uh, uh, still R3 and R4 are glowing uh, just as earlier. Then we again call a delay and so on. This uh, this 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 is how this code is working. Now coming to the type 2 crossing, opposites at a time. In this type of crossing, we allow opposite lane uh, traffic to go at once and then change the pair of lanes allowed to go. So here G1 and G2 are turned on and R3 and R4 are turned on. So north-south traffic is moving and west-east traffic is stopped. Now after a delay, we have west-east traffic, uh, west traffic moving and north-south uh, traffic is stopped. So uh, this is the type 2 crossing named opposites at a time. The code is uh, similar uh, uh, similar to the earlier one. Now we are glowing G1 and G2 from port A and G R3 and R4 from port B. Then we call a delay. Then we glow Y1 and Y2 instead uh, and close G1 and G2 and uh, R3 and R4 are still glowing. Then we call a delay. So uh, this is uh, quite similar to the last code. This is the delay subroutine that, that I was talking about earlier. Here this count value is a measure of how much delay we want in our code. Uh, this can be calculated uh, by this uh, this formula given below. Uh, so we can uh, we can set count at whatever value we want as per the delay is needed. So uh, this is uh, this is what happens when we call delay. When we call delay, this count value is moved to the DE register pair. Then uh, uh, here L2 function is defined. L2 function, uh, what it does is that it moves the value FF to the C register. Then L1 function is defined, which uh, what it does is that it decrements the value in C register. And then, uh, then JNZ L1 checks if the value in the Z flag is 0 or 1. If it's 0, it again goes to L1. And if it's 1, uh, it proceeds to further code. So uh, when we call delay, uh, this count value is put in DE register pair. Then the FF value is moved to the C register and then it is decremented. 
uh, it keeps on decrementing until the C register has got a value 0 and the Z flag becomes 1. So the code skips to this uh, this point. Now DCX uh, D what it does is that it dec uh, decrements the value of uh, value present in DE register pair. Now we, we check the we check the uh, we check if the DE register pair is 0 or not. If it is not 0 then this E, uh, this uh, this Z flag is still zero, and then uh, the code again proceeds to L2 and uh, uh, goes through the same steps until the DE register pair becomes zero and the Z Z flag becomes one, and it uh, the code proceeds to this return value. So this is what happens in delay. So uh, um, as many uh, as m as higher the value of count is, the more the DE register pair uh, will go through this loop and the more will be the delay. That's how it works. So uh, this was all about the presentation. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching.